Stan Lee, along with many talented artists, helped create many of your favorite Marvel comic book characters, such as Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, X-Men, Fantastic Four, and the list just goes on. His cameos in live action and even animated Marvel movies are always a fun thing to look out for, but what character is he playing exactly? Just some random goofy old man? Or is he secretly a character from the comics themselves? Welcome to Comic Misconceptions, I'm Scott, and I can't help it! I love Stan Lee. There, I've said it. I wish he was my grandpa. Stan the Man Lee has appeared in so many Marvel movies, shows, and video games that people have started to speculate that he's not just playing some random guy, but that he's actually playing a character from the comics. The most common theory I've heard around the internet is that Stan is playing Uwatu the Watcher. A quick refresher for those unfamiliar, Uwatu is a member of the Watchers, an alien species with gigantic heads whose main purpose in life is to simply observe and record the activities of the universe. Each one is assigned a different part of the universe to watch, and Uwatu Uwatu is assigned to Earth and the rest of our solar system. As Star-Lord's dad points out, Uwatu clearly has the most entertaining job of all of the Watchers, since Earth is where the craziest, most shocking stuff in the universe happens. Although the Watchers are very powerful beings, they have vowed not to interfere with the natural flow of events. Now, Uwatu has broken this vow before. He's even been on trial for his actions, like alerting heroes of threats, actively trying to hide the location of Earth from Galactus, or even simply talking to the Fantastic Four. All of these things are not the conduct of a Watcher, yet he did it anyway. All that to say, it's really not too far-fetched to say that Stan could be Uwatu, even though he's interfered before, like saving lives, or motivating heroes trying to pick up Thor's hammer for instance. The one thing I can't excuse though is Stan's lack of an ability to actually watch anything. A lot of his roles make him seem super oblivious to things that the Watcher should be aware of. I thought he'd be tall. Perhaps Stan Lee is playing another character. An article from Movie Pilot suggests that he could instead be playing Kang the Conqueror. And being a time traveler from another reality with many alternate versions of him popping up into existence, his history gets pretty complicated. So all you really need to know for this particular video is that Kang travels through time and between different realities to, as his name implies, conquer stuff. This could explain how Stanley has been able to appear across multiple unconnected universes of Marvel properties, as well as appearing in the past and present without aging a day. There are so many alternate versions of himself from different time streams that there's an entire council of Kangs. That could mean that each cameo is actually an alternate version of the character, and that's why he can presumably die in Incredible Hulk and then be right back in action in the following Marvel movies because that was just one version that died. Presumably. Kang on his own has no superhuman abilities. He uses advanced futuristic technology, but aside from that, he's pretty much a super smart human. This fits pretty well with the theory since Stan Lee himself came out and said that his character isn't an alien and doesn't have superpowers. He's just a human that's better than most. But Kang, for the most part, is a villain. I don't know if I'd classify anything Stan Lee has done in the movies as Villainous. He usually seems to be minding his own business most of the time, not really trying to conquer anything. It is suggested that he could be watching the heroes. Nope, not that kind of watching. We were off that. Rather, studying them and waiting to make his move. So that's a pretty good theory, but I know a few of you guys in the comments are already typing out a name that you're sure is the correct answer. The one above all. This is simultaneously a very hard one to prove and disprove because there's not that much information on the entity known as the one above all. The character is apparently the creator of all things that exist in the Marvel multiverse and maybe even beyond it. It's presumed that Uatu himself references the one above all as the only being in existence who is truly all powerful. Essentially, this is God in the Marvel universe. Not a God, the capital G. God. He's appeared in a few different forms. He's been a vague being in a white robe when he restored life to Beta Ray Bill, a homeless man while consoling Peter Parker about the death of Aunt May, and one of my favorites, comic book artist, legendary comic book artist, I should say, Jack Kirby, when he literally drew the thing back to life. It's this last appearance that I think is so important because if the one above all appeared as Jack Kirby, then that kind of rules out that he's really Stan Lee. Right? He even goes as far in the comics to indicate that Stanley is a collaborator of his. The two, in real life, famously work together to create a lot of your favorite Marvel comic book characters and stories. The way that I interpret this character is not that it's any one person, but rather it's one collective title shared by all of the artists, writers, and creators that work on Marvel's comics together. 
they are all the one above all because they are the only ones who truly have all power over the characters. You could say that Stan Lee in all of these movies is purely the representation of the one above all standing in for all talented comic book writers and artists who brought life to our favorite stories and characters. For me, the personality still is a little off to consider Stan Lee in these movies as God, but there's really not a lot of info on the one above all, so who am I to say that that's not exactly who he's playing? So some of these explanations seem pretty good and appear to be supported by at least enough circumstantial evidence that they could seem plausible. I, however, have a different theory. I propose to you that Stan Lee isn't any of these characters. Heck, I don't even think he's a Marvel character. I believe Stan Lee is someone far more elusive and meddlesome. It is my belief that Stan the Man Lee is actually, drumroll please, Mopey. For those of you who haven't seen the real origin of the Flash video, I covered a story about how Barry Allen really got his powers. The lightning bolt that struck him was created by Mopey, a goofy, magical imp. At first glance, I think you can definitely see more similarities between Mopey's appearance and Lee's than you can with Uwatu or Kang. Plus, his goofy, almost oblivious nature is far more in line with Stan's cameo appearances. But hold on, you say. Mopey is a DC character. Stan Lee only appears in Marvel movies and shows. A fair point, but if we look back at Ambush Bug, number three from 1985, we can see Mopey talking about how he not only played a part in the Flash's history, but also other DC characters like Batman and Superman, as well as plenty of Marvel characters like Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Hulk, and the X-Men. What we have here is a character with the ability to freely visit different realities and universes at will. This could explain how Stan Lee can uh, not just be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but also other Marvel movies and TV universes that aren't connected. But if he was a DC character, wouldn't we have at least seen Stan Lee show up in some form or another in DC movies or shows? Yes. And we have. In an episode of Superman the Animated Series called Apocalypse Now Part 2, we see a scene where a group of people are mourning the death of a character based off of Jack Kirby, that legendary comic book artist I mentioned earlier. Who do we see in the crowd at the funeral? None other than Stan Lee. This isn't just some person who looks like Stan Lee. You can see in these storyboard notes that the character is labeled as Stan. However, after that one appearance, the scene was later altered in the DVD release to not include Stan Lee at all. Sound familiar? After Mopey made his first and only real appearance in the comics, he was quickly retconned away in Who's Who in the DC Universe number eight, where it states that Mopey doesn't actually exist. Now, I'm not saying that Stan Lee is definitely mopey, but Stan Lee is definitely mopey. Wake up, America. Yes, again, Stan is still on record with saying that his character in the movies does not have any superpowers and isn't extraterrestrial, but he also originally said that he wasn't going to have a cameo role in Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'm not sure if Stan can be a credible source for any details about his character. Wait, hold on. I just remembered that Stan did play a specific and actually named comic book character in the Fantastic Four movie, a mailman named Willie Lumpkin. So I guess that would mean if any of these theories were true, we would also have to throw in that each of them has a day job of delivering mail to the Baxter building, which, hey, Mopey's good with mail. What do you guys think? Is Stan Lee playing a character like the Watcher, Kang, the one above all, or definitely Mopey? Do you have a different theory for who he's portraying? Maybe he's a Time Lord. Or is he simply being himself and we should all stop trying to find incontinuity explanations for everything and just enjoy his performances? Let me know in the comments. So this is kind of a weird way to start off Avengers Month here at NerdSync. If you missed last week's video, basically we're doing nothing but Marvel episodes for the next month in preparation for Age of Ultron. We've got plenty more to come out soon that I'm very excited about, so make sure you hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of it. Once again, I'm Scott. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll see you right here on Friday for a tie-in video. And also, uh, I'm going to be doing some vlogging stuff every day this month over on my personal channel. If you want to check that out, link is in the description. Uh, you can watch it or not. Both options are totally fine. Uh, anyway, like I said, we'll see you on Friday. And uh, for more things that you thought you knew about comics. See ya.